Hey, welcome. My name is Kelsey. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I wanted to do my conclusion of my skincare detox. So for the last four weeks, I have been on a very strict skincare regimen of only using certain products. The products I've been using are from Lush. I've been using a lot of their naked skincare items. So to wash my face at night, I've been using the Sleepy Face Cleanser. This is like a naked oil cleanser. And then I've been following it up with one of these seven to three cleansing cloths. And then for moisturizer, I've been using the Amazon primer and this is like a naked oil moisturizer kind of and then in the mornings if I am washing my face which I don't wash my face every morning I do rinse it with water um, but on days that I am washing it I've been using the let the good times roll scrub this is one of my favorite products from Lush I've been using this for years and um, it's a really great scrub. A little bit of like dry skin or like getting weird texture stuff away, but it's super gentle. Um, so I, at the beginning of the four weeks, I knew that I loved all of these products and I knew that they're very simple and they're very like gentle and they don't do a ton extra besides just cleanse and moisturize. And that's kind of what I was looking for. Before the four weeks started, I had been trying a bunch of new skincare recently and my skin was freaking out. I was breaking out like all over and it probably had more to do with than just like my skincare. I mean, we've been in like this quarantine season for a while and I've been baking bread. I've been eating lots of ice cream and dairy things and so things that just aren't great for your skin in general. And then it's also been a stressful time on top of that, which is not great for your skin either. And so there's been lots of things that probably contributed, but I knew that the products that I was using for my skincare was probably the biggest culprit of lots of my breakouts. So for the last four weeks, like I said, I've just been using these products and I'm pretty happy with how my skin is looking. Two weeks ago, I did a Get Unready With Me, so I used the Naked skincare products from Lush, so if you're interested in seeing how I use those products, I will link it up above, check that out. Um, they're super simple products to use also, which is really great, but I just, I feel like my skin has come a long way. So for makeup today, I'm only wearing like a really lightweight concealer, like it doesn't have a ton of coverage, and then I'm wearing Bare Minerals on top. And so while it does add some coverage, if I had like large pimples, you would definitely be able to notice. And I, so like the main areas that I was breaking out, I had like quite a few in this area for some reason, so you can see I've got like some spots still there's no like surface to them like they're just like scars at this point and then i was breaking out along my jawline which has gotten a lot better i had like a big cluster here and that's mostly gone um again it's just kind of like spots left over um where i've been breaking out now which it is very warm in minneapolis now we've gone through a large weather change since i started this four week process and um, today it is 78, but it is quite humid, and so it is warm. Um, it's also mask season, so I've been wearing a mask. And so where I've been breaking out recently is kind of right in this area. I know for me, like my chin area is a hormonal area. If I'm going to break out, I'm going to kind of get it in this area if nothing else is going on. Um, and so that's probably part of it. But also I feel like the mask is just like restricting airflow to this area. And so I've been getting little pimples here and there, but it seems pretty clear right now. I also have one on my forehead right here. I don't know what that one is from, but it's there. But overall, I think, honestly, I think my skin is looking really good. And I'm very happy with the four week process. I will say, and I knew going into this, 
that these products are very simple. So it's not gonna treat anything, it's not gonna combat anything, it's not gonna do anything above and beyond, it's just simple. So I wasn't using serums or anything like that to kind of like help fading spots or like masks to do a certain thing. I wasn't doing any of that. And so now I feel like I can go to some of those like serums that I really enjoy and use them and I'm gonna notice a bigger and better difference than before when I was like using everything and I didn't know what was working and what wasn't. And so now I have a good foundation to work with. Um, I also wanted to share just like about how much product I've gone through. Um, so it's been four weeks. My four weeks ended yesterday, Sunday. Um, this is the only sleepy face cleanser I have used. I mean, it started as like a full circle and I think I've used about a third of it. Um, and I've used that every single night to take off my makeup, maybe closer to a half. Um, but like that, that lasts a long time. That's going to last like two months at least. The seven to three cleansing cloths, I just jumped in. I had bought two of these and they're supposedly good for like a week. Um, I feel like I can get two solid weeks out of it. This one I've been using for like a week and a half and it is almost to the point of being done. I can probably use this for a few more nights and then I need to be done. And then the Amazon primer, this, I mean, I had a little tiny bit left of my last one, just like a little sliver. I probably used it in the morning like three or four times. And then this was a full one when I started. And there's probably about half of this left as well. And so, and I use this at night and in the morning. And so I probably have another month's worth of use on that. So all of this is like so worth the money. The Sleepy Face, I think that cleanser is like $6.99 or $7.99. The cleansing cloth, I think these are $3.99. And then the moisturizer, I believe, is like $12.99 or $13.99, right in that range. So like super affordable. The scrub, again, I don't use this every day. Um, I started with a new container of this when I started this detox cycle um, and I've used probably about a third of this. This doesn't come like packed full when you get it. It's it, it's just product in here. It is 3.5 ounces um, but it's not full and so I probably have about two thirds left of this but I will use this forever and ever. So my plan moving forward is to keep it simple and Lush is not open yet and I don't feel like putting in an online order, but I have a feeling they will be opening probably in the next few weeks. I'm gonna use what I have. And then, I mean, I was using this stuff before as well. I was just using other things. And so I'm gonna start adding back in a few things here and there, but I think I'm really gonna stick with these as like my base products, as like my foundational products add in some serums, add in some masks, maybe another cleanser here or there. And I think that's going to be good. I will say, so one, the one thing that I notice with this cleansing process with like the oil cleanser and then the cleansing pad, and I've known this in the past, is that I can get like some, a little bit of like clogged pores around like the nose area. Not blackheads, not anything like super dramatic, just like kind of like some oil, oiliness in my pores. And so what I do like to combat that with is, I mean, either a mask or I really enjoy the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Cleanser and I'll use that like intermittently between the other cleansers. And so I'll probably jump back on that here, like maybe even tonight, because that's definitely something I've noticed in the nose area it's just like a little bit of like oil happening in my pores <laughs> but other than that i have been loving it i love the simplicity of everything i've been enjoying the results i've gotten so i thought i would share just in case if you were interested in seeing how this skincare 
regimen went. But again, I knew I loved these products anyways. I just wanted to only use them and see what kind of results I got. But that is it for today. I did mention Trader Joe's. I'm gonna be doing a Trader Joe's favorites video, the next video. So it's gonna include skincare, body stuff, and also some of my food favorites. So if you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned until Wednesday. I think I'll put that up on Wednesday. But thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love to have you around. And until next time, bye guys.